plaintiff, Renee Craighead, says she had her first child when she was 16 years old. And after that, she was in one abusive relationship after another. Renee claims the defendant is her middle child, and she wants a better life for her. However, she's suing because she claims the defendant dropped out of college and stole money from her. Defendant Imani Williams says her mother is an angry person who doesn't know how to treat people because she's been abused. Imani claims Renee physically abuses her and her siblings. And once, when she was in the 11th grade, her mother punched her, slapped her, and dragged her across the floor. Start with you. My daughter, Imani, is one of my fifth kids. She's my middle kid, but mm -hmm. it's like she's been smoking a wacky tamaki or something like that because she's acting really strange lately. I mean, like, I don't want her to go through the same path that I went through you in life. You very young for five children. Yes, five kids. It was terrible. I can't believe it myself. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Why it was not? terrible. You <laughs> say, that's, that's the <laughs> most fair shot to put it in its best light. <laughs> you say, it was the worst thing ever. <laughs> Why, ma'am? I had a terrible life. You know, uh -huh. I dropped out of school at 15, mm -hmm. had my first kid at 16 with my first sexual experience. It was bad. And the next thing you know, um, I start dating all these crazy abusive men. You know, one dude shot at me. One dude put a gun to my head. Another dude tried to set me on fire, and I had to beat him down. I'm not about to let no man set me on fire. So with all five of my kids, out of all the five of them, I was locked up with four of them. I mean, it was terrible. Then I was dating. What do you mean you were locked up with four? I was pregnant, locked up, because they dads was trying to beat on me. I'm not taking no beating. It was terrible again. Okay. That's what I get for dating terrible men. It was horrible. And, and I start dating, like, a crackheads and stuff like that. Just because my last name is Craighead does not mean that I'm supposed to attract crackheads. Was... Yeah, they... I don't know what happened. <laughs> They misunderstood your last name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I got all the crack in you my pocket. You said, I'm Miss Craighead. Yes. <laughs> so I don't want her to go through that same path, but my daughter, she it was a wonderful student in school, got good grades, was going to school all the time. Mm. Then she got a scholarship, and okay. she was running track, like, third of her whole school. So then she, um, she didn't take that one. A recruiter come all the way from Alabama to her house. She didn't take that. So then she got a um, scholarship for Southwest. Dropped out of that a month later. I was highly offended. I couldn't believe she did me like that. How are your other four children? My other four children? My little son, he snuck out the house for 40 minutes on Halloween. <laughs> I think he was trying to run away. Did I don't know what's wrong high with school. him. Huh? I want to know about school and oh. things like that. <laughs> my other two kids. Everybody sneaking out for 40 minutes. <laughs> yes. My other two kids, they graduated. Good. Both of them. Sounds like you've done a good job in yes. terms of getting their education. Yes. All right, your other two, they're still in the house or they're still uh -uh, working they in had their to go. education? I'm sorry. They had to go. <laughs> Did they finish school first? Yeah, they finished school first, then they had to beat it. I love them, but you know. All right, but all five of your children finished high uh -uh, school? Uh-uh, I got two left. I got a 14-year-old and a 12-year-old. They still at home. And they look like they're gonna do all right in yes, terms of they, graduating? Yes, they love school, go to school every day. Even my son wanna go to Saturday school. I don't think he mind, because I was never up for school that much. <laughs> <laughs> you... <laughs> She's honest. <laughs> you say you don't think he's yours because you was never up to school that much. Congratulations. Did you raise them alone? Or have yes. You, you raised all five of them yes. alone, and all of them are doing well in school. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. And the next thing you know, um, I start dating all these crazy abusive men. You know, one dude shot at me, one dude put a gun to my head, another dude tried to set me on fire, and I had to beat him down. I'm not about to let no man set me on fire. Defendant Imani Williams says the plaintiff is her mother. And she claims her mother is so physically abusive that she once punched Imani in the face, slapped her, and dragged her across the floor. Go ahead. My mother has never had no love, so she don't know how to love nobody. She don't know how to treat her kids. She's very disrespectful. She abused us. She abused me. In what she, way? She used to, like, one time when I was in 11th grade, I got in trouble for something. I'm not a bad child, you know? Like mm -hmm. she said, I, got, I get good grades in school, you know, do right. my work, do what I got to do. I got in trouble. She punched me in my face, slapped me, drugged me by my hair across the floor. So... What did she, you do? What was I, I don't know. I don't get in trouble. That's the point. I do not get in so trouble. So she ever. made that up, or...? Yeah, she's, she's crazy. 
For real? I need to get a check. Um, my mother is very angry. Like, she she's just an abusive person because all her life she's been abused, so she don't know how to treat What nobody. else has she done to you? My mama you? talked bad to me, horribly. She called me a B, called me an H. She just... She's, how about the other four children? She yeah. does them like that, too. And it hurts me because they're my little brother and sister. So I don't want to see them, you know, grow up how I grow up. Grew up, you know, getting called bad names and degrading, just de Your just Honor, being degrading to us. I don't cuss them no out, reason. I'm gonna have to choke them out. I mean, no. you don't have to cuss your kids. I will talk like I cannot talk to my mother about anything because she's. I don't have no relationship with her. I mean, I would like a relationship with her, but I can't because she's too angry. And I think that we need help. Okay. She was abused by our fathers, like she said, and that's basically it. She was, she's abused, so she's abusive to us. Okay, so you have an understanding. Mm hmm All right, and have you ever asked that you all go for family counseling? Because you're telling us this today. I'm I, sure I, you've I told other I relatives. I've suggested it before. And what did your mom say? No? I can't Mama, recall the time I'm, that you... Uh, man, for real. Man. I can't recall the time. All right, but did you think that you all needed it? Yes, we really, really So why it. didn't you pursue it? Because I ain't had the funds for it. Okay. If I would've had the funds for it, of course I would've went. My mother doesn't pursue anything she says, ever. So, she never keeps right. her word. You know the circumstances that caused her to be that way. She wasn't born crazy, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask you one question. Have you ever forgiven anyone? I forgive everybody who do anything to me, and I always be bad good with them. And I forgive my mom plenty of time. But she right. just don't know how to talk to me. She just yeah. talk bad, and I'm not... Yeah. I'm 18. I'm not gonna let you talk. I'm gonna be respectful to you because you're my mama. But you're not finna always talk bad mm -hmm. to me. I'm okay. not gonna let that happen. All right. You, um, mature young lady, and you sound intelligent and insightful. So you did a good job on her other than all them whoopings or whatever she said you understand. did to her and talk bad to Cuss her and be abusive out. toward her. Ma'am, that's enough. That's enough. I believe she overcame all that. Why don't you tell me about yourself other than the uh, problems you've had with okay. your mom? Well, what are you doing now? I'm trying to go back to school. She say I dropped out of school. I did not drop out of school. I got kicked out of school because of my financial aid was not on time. The scholarship for track was not a full scholarship and mm -hmm. she was not able to pay that. Mm -hmm. So how was I gonna go to school? Mm -hmm. So I went to Southwest where I have a full scholarship and I'm doing something that I wanna do. I don't even like track like that. And I wasn't third in my school. Mm -hmm. Our track team was third in the state. But um, I got kicked out of because, because of my financial aid. The day we had to do our financial aid, I told my mama, mom, can you help me do my financial aid? She told me, no, you can do it by yourself because it's easy. Look what happened. She did not help me because the financial aid got something to do with income. Yep. So the security, parent has her, to fill their part yes, out. And she did not help me. I'm over here looking at the paper like, they tried to what kick am I supposed out? to be doing? What are you saying, ma'am? When they tried to kick her out, I tried to go down there to talk to the people. And she said, you're just going to go talk bad to the people. I really was. She was right. But <laughs> she had to calm me down. So the next time, I was going to go and be nice. I was going to try to bite my tongue like a hundred times. Okay, ma'am. All you had to do is fill the paperwork out because that's true, young lady. You are right on target. Uh, I went through so much trying to prove that my mother was past, that I didn't have any parents. So I know how they can discourage, and young folks, don't let them discourage you when you go to these schools. So many young people get discouraged. You know, you, particularly these young men, they go and they already kind of tough attitude and really they're intimidated. So they might make one small attempt to go to school and that didn't work. They don't want me. They didn't like me. So you go back to the street instead of being persistent. Yeah, if people don't like you, if they don't want to help you, you have to demand the help and you have to demand the respect <laughs> and not by fighting. So, and that means being persistent, not going in there talking crazy to people. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, I'm so glad to hear uh, that you were in school and you were talking about she dropped out or was kicked out. She wasn't kicked out. She just was unable to enroll or they disenrolled her. They, they she didn't, didn't tell me that. Okay, how and far I... did you go in school, man? Oh, it was terrible. They kept kicking me out for fighting. I was a terrible kid. I can't even fight. Right. You didn't graduate? Uh-uh. I got All my right. GED, though. So once again, oh, you graduated then. GED. All right. I'm not a bad child. You know, like she said, I got I get good grades in school, you know, do my work, do what I got to do. I got in trouble. She punched me in my face, slapped me, drug me by my hair across the floor. So... What did you do? What was that? 
I don't know. I don't get in trouble. That's the point. I do not get in trouble. So she ever. made that up or? Defendant Imani Williams says the plaintiff is her mother, and she claims her mother is so physically abusive that she once punched Imani in the face, slapped her, and dragged her across the floor. Why are you suing her for stolen money, ma'am, and emotional time, distress? What happened? What are you time, alleging happened? In June 2012, I, it was $100. I had told her to hold the $100 up under her bed. Next thing you know, she said she gave it to me. I could not find that hundred dollars. Then another time around the same time, I lost another hundred dollars, but she coming up with money. I can't even borrow my money back from her. Because she doesn't believe she took anything, I'm sure. What type of paperwork you have there? You have some paperwork? My, my face. Let's see it, please. What is this again? About my financial aid. Oh, okay. So you come to prove what you said. Yeah. This is too... That's one of my teachers. Okay, so you emailed your teacher. I was purged out of all my classes, meaning they basically dropped every single one of my classes because my financial aid was not in on time. Therefore, I was not able to attend any of my classes last week. Okay, I'm proud of you. You're really handling yourself as a professional despite the obstacles you faced at home. <laughs> and where you at now with your financial aid? Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm, I have to fill it out again, so I can go back in January. All right. You're going to help her out? Yes, of you course. You probably need a little help yourself. I'm going to have my staff work with you to make sure her financial aid is done correctly. I'm going to have, please, all these folks going to call me now, but I can't help everybody. <laughs> but I'm going to help, I'm going to have my youth agency give you a scholarship, which oh, we wow. give out to some folks. <laughs> but uh, so you're really committed. You're really committed. You're really committed, and I love that. I need and... her to grow up and do good in school so I can move in with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to change your ways. Nobody going to let you in there fighting and acting a fool. I'm going to be quiet at her house. You change your ways, she might let you. Oh, I can't wait. I love you. Tell me you can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> what emotional distress are you still well, in her, her for? running away. She had van away. And I don't blame her. I run away, too. <laughs> I'm ready to run away now. <laughs> That's three of my kids that ran away, plus... Judge I don't blame them. <laughs> and then she uh, was talking back. She said I'm abusive to her, but I don't see no scars. Where's it at? You're making the case for her emotional distress. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, what That's about what the saying. money, young lady? Please, I, I, I would love to know She's what money, because right. you did not... Uh, okay. But you said, what, what money did you give me? Because, one, I don't get money from her, ever. I had gave you the, the only person who gave me money... No, that, that you're telling story. Uh-uh. But uh -huh. the only person I get money from is my stepdaddy or my boyfriend or my big sister in New Jersey. She sent me some money one time. So I don't gave it all do? to a boyfriend. Pardon me? She gave that her money to a boyfriend sometimes. So I give my money to my... How you do I give my... For her graduation, for her prom... You worry about them no good right. men you have. I, I gotta find me one one day. My boy. All I know, I and the most important either. thing to me is she is in college. That's, That's right. all I know. All this other foolishness, I'm not hearing. The most important thing in the life of a child is their education. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. Now, the other children live there, too, right? Yes. Now, how are you gonna blame it on her? You got four other children living there. Uh-uh, They could have taken away the other two. Yeah, they still <laughs> home. You talking about... <laughs> <laughs> Your claim is dismissed because you can't prove that it was her. You have two other children living in that household. Emotional distress you're suing her for, quite frankly, by law. You can't sue your child for emotional distress. <laughs> if you all argue and all the other things that happen frequently in households, you can't sue for emotional distress. Your claim is dismissed, and my staff are gonna work with both of you, and then we're gonna follow up with uh, that scholarship, all right? All right. Good luck. And folks, I can't help everybody. I'm just happy she's going back to school. I love my baby. I want her to do better so she can make me better. And I can freeload for the rest of my life. It'll be wonderful. Thank you for the scholarship and stuff. And I love my mama. She just psycho.